today we're going to hook up an Everlast Power MTS 221 for straight MIG, just simple MIG. We have our ground clamp hooked to the negative side. We have our MIG gun hooked into the machine here. Only place it can go. Two main functions in gas metal arc welding, voltage, wire feed speed. So to go through the menus and get control of these two items right here, if we scroll through, we have MIG volts, your voltage setting, and we have wire feed speed. Right now I'm going to set this up for 18 volts, 200 inches a minute wire feed speed. On basic MIG, about the only other thing that you would want to change would be to go to the inductance. Changing the inductance can fine tune your weld pool to either a stiff, crispy type of an arc or soft, flowing type of an arc. Any of these other menus on basic MIG, pre-flow, start, I, I tend to just leave those alone. Burn back, I don't set any of that. I just want these two functions of voltage, wire feed speed, and maybe inductance. Those are the only things that I like to set. Let's do some welding and see what effects we get. That's a little bit of a bead, 18 volts. 200 on wire feed speed. I want to change the voltage first. We'll add two volts. Quite the dramatic change. <clears throat> so my weld pool is a lot wetter because of voltage, a lot longer. Now I need to add wire. I'm going to change from 200 to 250 inches a minute and see what happens. Uh, I did a little test run here at 250 and 20 volts. I think I need to go clear up to 350. Let's try 350, see if we can't get this to settle down a little bit. nicer effect there although we're still you know, we're real close for 023 wire so that's how you set the basic function for MIG welding on the Everlast 221 if you have any other questions please visit everlastwelders.com